Hey guys, today I've got some Schlag Everests for you. Um, these are medium security because while they do have a secondary element with a, a detent pin on here that you need the Everest keys for, it's one detent pin and it's it's easy to get. It's you need just a small pick, run it down there, and it's open. They're not high security by any means. So I've got one that's a interchangeable core format, so you can get a control key and pop it out, and swap it for a new one. And then we've got just a kick cylinder in one of these kick pad locks. So let's get it up in a vise and I'll show you how these work. There's nothing really too big for them. I mean, a standard Schlag Everest, as long as you can do a uh, just standard pins, you can handle an Everest just fine. We'll be using, I call it a three tool thing. You've got your tension wrench. We're using a 50 thousandths pry bar from Peterson, a South Ord deep hook, and South Ord half diamond. So, all you really have for, you got a pretty wide open keyway, you just got this big hard piece of warding here that your uh, detent pin is under. So, you just, you just top of the keyway. And just all standard pins in there, so just heavy tension. You got nothing to worry about with that. Just lay on it. And you'll get nice solid clicks out of these pins. All the way in the back. There's one. And if you don't have your tension heavy enough, you'll actually overset it. But if you've got heavy enough tension, you almost never overset them. There's the good solid click I was looking for. There's another one on five, four, three, Every once in a while, depending on how high the front one is, I'll actually use my half diamond to get it just to try and make sure I don't overset something else behind it. There we go. That feels set. So, like I said, and then all you gotta do for the Everest detent pin or whatever, I take my half diamond, point it to the right, go it's flat underneath. And you can actually feel a little thing back there and just give it a little turn. And there you go. It's open. It's nothing to these. They're quite simple. So as long as you can do standard pins, it's easy. You just do your six standard pins, stick your pick down there in the bottom, just slide it right down along the bottom here and just give it a little turn. And that's all it is right there, is a little detent pin that you lift up. It's that simple. It's nothing to it. If anything, just getting the back off here is harder than getting the lock open. There we go. If you take the key out, the detent pin can actually fall out the bottom. So let's let's remove that right now for you. That's all it is. It's a little detent that gets pushed up and a little spring. And now for key pins. All 
all standards. And same for drivers. There's nothing exciting in here. And that's it. They are just six straight standard pins and then your little detent pin. That's all you got to worry about. So if you can do a standard pin master lock, you can do a Schlag Everest. There's nothing to them. So make sure to like and subscribe because in the next video or two here I'll be showing you this um, interchangeable core pin. I've got a nifty little bypass for the control. So if you don't have a control key and you want to remove this core, it's extremely simple to do. So make sure to subscribe as that's coming up soon. Thanks for watching guys. Here's what we've got for bidding for you. Not too bad. A little bit of highs and lows. And then there's the detent pan on the other side as you can see. So thanks for watching guys.